Okay, my YouTube people. This is a video of how to rebuild a ratchet top for a four-speed Harley transmission. And what I'm going to show you in this video comes directly out of the Panhead service manual. Pages 160 and 161. And it's very descriptive. I suggest you get a manual. But this video will be how to do it properly. Please follow along and thank you for watching. And this one is going to be for sale. Hit me up if you think you want it. If not, it will end up on eBay. Another thing with this is I'm not going to pull this shifter shaft out off this gear. It's a little bit tricky to do. And this one's spinning freely. There's no slop or anything in it. And the spring works just fine. I did pull the one off of this one. And as you can see, these are the only parts and a cotter pin that go to it. This just slips on here. The spring's behind it over here, up against the case, and this is on the outside. This gear is indexed to the shaft, so if you do decide to pull it apart, you need to make sure that you mark it. If you see on the inside of this gear here, there's a marking right there. And this one has the same thing. You probably can't see it, but it is right there. You can kind of see it a little bit right there in the gear, but it's on the back side. So just make sure you mark that. Also, the shifter drum gets indexed to the gear also. So it's important to make sure you have that lined up when it goes back together. So when you have these gears apart, the way to properly align them is you have an alignment mark here, and then the square kind of comes up and aligns with it. You can see that. You can see that there. Your alignment mark and your square. This goes in such that right here on this gear lines up with your alignment mark like that. So just to put a screwdriver down it, you can see it. Here's the alignment mark. And here's where it comes into the gear, like that. So if you don't have this gear on the shaft, that's the way you align it, and it winds up being right. It, there, this gear is square, so you almost can't get it wrong if you're close. Now the next alignment is, this alignment mark aligns with the drum. The alignment mark on the drum is ground right into the top of the tooth. That's that tooth right there and the alignment mark. So when this is inside the case, you can't really see this alignment. You want to mark it with a paint stick or something. And then the grind mark tooth goes in the V where the timing mark is like that. That's important for both of your alignments. Next, we have to put the shifter drum in and make sure to get it aligned. This little notch is where neutral is. So this is first, neutral, second, third, fourth. The detent for this shifter drum goes in here. So we know that the drum's in. Kind of put it in there. You have to slide this gear over, load that spring. Next, the shaft pin goes in and takes this flat rubber o ring in this groove here. I always put o ring lubricant on them. All right, now it's got some o ring lube, it just slips right on, and that's what it looks like once it's on. This goes into the drum over this side. Before I slip it in, I'll put a little grease in there. And I just use something to make sure it's well greased just to help it slide in. And then I'm going to put a little grease on the other end. You want to make sure as you're going that it's nice and smooth and free. Sometimes you have to give them a little tap and I like to use a rubber mount whenever I can. Like that. Now you want to make sure that you have your alignment groove in the center of that hole. It takes a retaining pin and I'll show you that. 
this is the retaining screw that goes down in here that retains that shaft in that single groove. You just want to make sure that it lines up. You just get yourself a flashlight. It looks like it has to go in a little further before it's, before it's centered. Now it's centered up in there. Again, I'm just going to put a little touch of Loctite on this. Not much. You can see that's a small dab. I'm going to take this in and make sure it goes below the surface. There it is below the surface. If it's sticking up above the surface, it won't let your top go onto the transmission all the way. You want to put the springs back in the ratchet housing and you want to grease all this really good before you do it. I just use some bearing grease. Then you just put the springs in. that and put a little more grease on them again now this plate goes on to this housing like that making sure you have this hole lined up with the screw hole this screw gets a star washer I'm just going to put a little bit of blue Loctite on this like that not very much because I don't want it fighting me too much if I have to take it apart enough to hold it in. This does have some adjustment on it as you can see. Last thing you want to do is put the shifter detent in but first I'm going to put some grease on it. I want to make sure it's nice and free after you get it together. Make sure it's nice and free. And now the lock. The way this goes on is you put the lock on, you screw the shifter detent down in there, screws in mostly by hand, and it doesn't matter what gear you're in, but you want to be in a gear and not neutral. At that time, you can align this plate, and the alignment for this plate, like I said, in any gear, this notch right here in the plate aligns with the grooves here and each gear it'll be in a line and you want to check all your gears so right there that's fourth gear and I'll take spin the drum that's third gear you can see the alignment on that lined up perfectly that's second gear And then that's first gear so it's lined up perfectly in each one of your gears if it's not lined up perfectly you loosen this screw and then you rotate your plate so that it's lined up perfectly and then once it's lined up you just want to snug it and once it's lined up once it's snug then you just tighten it down And you want to check and then you now after it's tightened down you want to check it in each one of the gears again so that's first neutral second and then third third looks good and then fourth they're all lined up so now you can just again you want to make sure it's tight I'll make sure you have plenty of grease on the gear like plenty of grease on the gear like that next thing you do is you put your two springs in and you put your two shift dogs in and these have an alignment pin down in them that this has to go into so they face in the book says on these pins not to grease them to use light oil now this goes on and the way it goes on 
is this piece here goes down in between these two springs. But also, you have to get the, sh the dogs on this side of the shaft. Best way to get them on the shaft I found is you kind of hold them down, like that, kind of hold them down, and then kind of get this started. Now, once I have it together, I want to put the shifter on and make sure that it operates properly. First, second, third, fourth, third, second, first, neutral. Okay, you can see works excellent. That's next this piece goes on and this runs up against it, so you want to make sure that you grease this real good. Before you put the piece on, you have to install the gasket. There's a notch right here, also lines up with this notch. These two notches line up and the gasket has the same notch, like that, and then this cover. And then before I put this cover on, I like to put a little more grease in it. Then I'm careful to wipe the grease off the gasket surface. Now this goes on, matching the notches up. And the gasket like that. Next you have to install these six screws. I like to start two to get it lined up and then I like to put a little bit of Loctite on them. Not much. A little dab. These screws take an eighth inch Allen wrench. I'm sure you've already noticed by now but everything is very clean. Probably spent an hour to an hour and a half cleaning everything. Even all these screws, I wire wheel to threads, make sure they're clean. Of these six screws, this one gets a nut on the back and it's shorter than the rest. Just pushes in. Again, just a little dab of Loctite. You can see there's very little there. Now when I snug them in, I go across from each one. Next over here, this cover goes on. These two pins align it. Then the arm goes on, it also goes on to the pins, like that. And now you get three screws that hold it on, and I'll put a little Loctite on those. And now an eighth inch Allen wrench tightens these down. Okay, now you just want to make sure it operates freely. Now that the locking tab is bent over, you want to put your neutral indicator switch in with a new gasket. That's the complete build of a 65 to 78 ratchet top. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Doesn't cost you anything and it helps my channel out. Thank you.